Let me ask you a question. Does God care about what we say? He does. Yahweh cares about the things that comes out of our mouth. Does he care about what we do? Absolutely. No question about it. From Genesis to Revelation, it's all about what we do. How about what we think? Most importantly, we, th- we learned about this uh, a month or so ago through the great uh, deception that Yahweh cares about what we think and so does the enemy and the enemy loves to get into our mind and bend it back towards the tree of knowledge of good and evil. How about what, how we dress? Oh, that's a, t- yes, I didn't get very many amens on that. He does care. He wants us to be modest. He wants us to represent him. If he didn't care, folks, how we dress, if anyone ever tells you that Yahweh does not care how you dress, then why did he spend chapters telling the priest exactly how to dress before him? Why is it that he told them not only which clothes to wear, I think it would have been enough to just say, here are the garments, put them on in whatever order you think is cool. But he told them exactly what to put on first, Second, third, fourth, even the colors and the types of fabric that he wanted. Yahweh cares about the very fiber, no pun intended, of your being. How about what we see? He cares about what you see. He cares about what you see. He cares about what you see. I said it three times. And if you were a rabbi, uh, you study Judaism, you know that's important when, when Yahweh says something more than once. So listen up, because Yahweh says that that what comes in through the eye gate will come out through the mouth gate and will come out through the heart gate. So if you don't see properly and you have scales on your eyes or, or you don't interpret the scriptures the way that Yahweh penned them, you will go in a different direction that's not intended and you will hit a tree or a rock. And then you will wake up and you'll start praying, asking the Father, why did you, why did you hit me with that rock? Why did you let that tree hit me? Never even considering that maybe you're not looking straight. He cares about what we see. How about what we hear? Sensitive subjects. He cares about what you hear. Where are you at and what you are listening to? From music to people to conversations that aren't unholy. What you listen to, what goes in your ear, goes right into the seven inches that causes you to act. This seven inches, it's a game of seven inches as they say in golf. And it's incredible how the father can can get into your mind and, 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 and cause you to go in this direction. And it's incredible how the enemy can get into your mind and cause you to go in another direction. And both times you don't even have a clue you're being used. Well, let me ask you this. If he cares about all those things, what we see, what we hear, what we do, what we think, what we listen to, what we dress, how, you know, all of these things, are you, are you telling me that he doesn't care about what we eat? Every single topic that can be found in human nature today, we, no Christian or religious person alive, would say that the, any deity, much less the king of the universe, the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, doesn't care about a part of our life. I have not met anybody yet that would say that God doesn't care about a part of me. He says he knows every single hair on your head and he has it numbered. 